Dear student, in our previous video, we have learned how a given polygon can be divided into smaller polygons to find its area. In this video, you are going to learn the application of what you have learned in the previous video. Now I am going to read out the uh, problems related to finding the area of the polygons which are nothing but the problems based on planar uh, mensuration. Find the area of a regular hexagon MNOPQR. MNOPQR. What do you mean by regular hexagon? You know that hexagon is a polygon enclosed by six line segment. Regular hexagon means is a polygon enclosed by six uh, line segments in which the measure of each side is equal. That means each side will be having the same measure. Find the area of a regular hexagon M and O P Q R of side 5 cm by dividing it into two different ways. We have to divide the given hexagon into two different ways. After dividing into two different ways, we have to find the area. So one of the ways by which we can divide the given polygon is as follows. See this polygon is divided into two congruent trapezium. What do you mean by congruent shapes? The congruent shapes mean the shapes which are having the same shape and size. The two shapes are said to be congruent if they have same shape and size. Look at the uh, congruent shapes which are nothing but trapezium here. Q N O P Q O M N. Two trapezium. They have the same shape and so they are called as congruent uh, shapes or congruent uh, trapeziums. So we are going to divide the given polygon into two congruent uh, trapezium. In this case we have a hexagon. So we are going to divide this regular hexagon into two congruent uh, trapeziums. Now let us look at the data part. What they have given data. So PO is equal to RM. Where can you find here PO is equal to RM? That means PO is the measure of the line segment. RM is also measure of the line segment. MN is also measure of line segment. NO is also measure of line segment. QP is also measure of line segment. RQ also measure of line segment. The measure of each line segment is same. They are equal. So here in the shape PO is equal to RM. PO is equal to RM A equal to 5 centimeter. Now QN, the measure of QN is 11 centimeter. You can see the measure of uh, QN. That means if you join the vertex Q and vertex N, the distance from point vertex Q to vertex N will be 11 a centimeter. Then PR is equal to distance between the point P and R or vertex P and R is 8 centimeter. It is given here. It's because PR is parallel to the line given below by in terms of the measure 8 centimeter. Here PR is a parallel to MO. If you join line MO and uh, join line R. If you join point R and P, if you join point M and O, you are get two parallel lines. The measure will be eight a centimeter. Now, in this uh, shape, the below you can see they have say a uh, rotated by this shape ninety degree. You can see how they are rotated. So PO occupies the top surface and RM occupies the bottom surface and QN already I have said the measure of QN is 11 centimeter you can see 11 centimeter. Now you know the measure of RP and MO is 
8 uh, cm. Now you have seen a line QN uh, divides the line RP and MO. So you can see the QN which is nothing but here. So QN is dividing the uh, line RP. You can see here line RP and MO. So into two equal segment. Then when it divides the bisected lines will be having lines that have same major 4 cm, 4 cm. So in this uh, uh, shape 4 cm will be the height of trapezium PQNO. Below also 4 cm will be the height of trapezium QRMN. You may ask why is RO can't be taken as height. Yes you can take uh, YO as the height because YO and XP measures the uh, same length. Similarly, you may ask why RM cannot be taken as height for trapezium QRMN. Yes, we can take this as the height because the measure of YM and XR are same. What is the measure? 4 cm. But for calculation purpose, I have taken XP as the height of trapezium PQNO and XR as the height of trapezium QRMN. So rot upon rotating this regular hexagon, the, the, this re regular hexagon looks like this. Now the measure of each side is 5 cm because it is a, a regular hexagon. Now what is the measure of QN? 11 cm. Now observe carefully when the given polygon which is nothing but a hexagon is folded along the line QN we are going to get two congruent uh, trapezium. So this is one of the way of dividing the given a polygon or hexagon. So by joining the vertices QN and so we are going to divide the given polygon or regular hexagon to congruent trapeziums. Now we have to find the area of trapezium. So we have to find the area of a trapezium QPON and QRMN. After finding the area of this two trapezium, we have to add the area of this trapezium and area of this trapezium. This trapezium means area of trapezium PQNO. Area of this trapezium is QRMN. So upon adding the area of these two congruent trapezium, we are going to get the area of the given hexagon, regular hexagon. What is the name of the regular hexagon? That is MNOPQR. Now, let me come back for explanation. Divide the given regular hexagon into two congruent trapeziums. The area of a given regular hexagon MNOPQR is equal to area of trapezium QPON plus area of trapezium QRMN. Then, what is the formula of trapezium? Half into altitude into sum of parallel sides. A means one of the parallel sides, B is the other parallel side. Then, plus area of a trapezium again half into altitude or height into a plus B. A plus B means sum of the uh, parallel sides. So area of hexagon is equal to half into half into XP. What is XP? Here height. Can you see here? XP is the height of trapezium PQNO. Then what is the measure of one of the parallel sides of the trapezium PQNO? PO. Plus, what is the measure of other parallel side that is QN? It is QN. QN is the other uh, parallel side. PO is the one a uh, parallel side. I have written here. Plus half into in trapezium QRMN. What is the one of the parallel sides that is RM? And what is the height here? XR. Then RM. Then other parallel side QN. I have written here. Then let us substitute the value of the given line segment. 
हाफ इंटू एरिया ऑफ एक्सागन एम एन ओ पी क्यू आर इज इक्ट हाफ इंटू वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स पी फोर सेंटीमीटर यू मे वर हाउ वी हैव गॉट द फोर सेंटीमीटर लुक एट द शेप हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ पी आर एंड एम ए इज इक्वल टू एट सेंटीमीटर सो दे आर डिवाइडेड बाय ए a line segment uh, qn when they divided the value of px xr or value of oy and ym will be half of 8 cm what is a half of 8 cm 4 cm there will height will be 4 cm 8 cm when divided by 2 will get 4 cm in front how to know whether they are correct or not 4 cm plus 4 cm is equal to 8 cm so 4 cm plus 4 cm 8 cm you may ask how the value of the line segment xp is equal to value of line segment xr because this is a regular hexagon it is divided into two congruent shapes when it is divided into congruent shapes it is possible only if a px is equal to xr when we fold this a hexagon along the line q o n this the trapezium q or m n exactly matches with the shape of the other a trapezium q p o n that means the q n bisects a p r as well as o m therefore the measure of x p and x r is equal to 8 divided by 2 that is nothing but 4 cm Here x p is equal to four centimeter. Height is equal to four centimeter. Value of p o one of the parallel side of the trapezium p q n o is equal to five centimeter q n. Value of the other parallel side of the trapezium p q n o is equal to that is q n is equal to eleven centimeter. Right within the bracket plus half into x r. What is the value of x r? Four centimeter into. therefore value of rm one of the parallel side of the trapezium q or mn is equal to 5 cm plus qn so value of the other parallel side of the trapezium q or mn is equal to 11 cm now you can divide 4 cm and 2 in the denominator 2 1 times 2 2 times 4 here also 2 1 times 2 2 times 4 since 4 is associated with unit cm you write here cm 2 cm Again, you have to write unit centimeter because four is associated with the the unit centimeter. Now, one divided by one, one one into two cm, two centimeter, five centimeter plus eleven centimeter, sixteen centimeter plus one divided by one, one one into two cm, two centimeter, five centimeter plus eleven centimeter, sixteen a centimeter. Now two cm two two into sixteen thirty two centimeter into uh, centimeter. Centimeter two into sixteen thirty two centimeter into centimeter centimeter square plus two into sixteen thirty two centimeter into centimeter centimeter square thirty two plus thirty two sixty four centimeter square. So area of the given regular hexagon M N O P Q R is equal to sixty four centimeter. we have got this area by dividing given regular hexagon into two congruent trapeziums by joining the line qn this is one of the way they have asked us to divide the given regular hexagon into two different ways this is one of the way of how i have divided the given regular hexagon let us look at the how i have divided the Uh, the second way that is how i have divided the given regular hexagon in the other way <coughs> now divide the regular hexagon into two congruent uh, triangles and one rectangle you know what do you mean by uh, the congruent shape the two shapes are said to be congruent if they have same shape and a uh, size look at the diagram the x that is regular hexagon m n o p q r in this the triangle that is triangle 
आर पी क्यू आर पी क्यू एंड ट्राइंगल एम ओ एन आर पी क्यू एंड एम ओ एन दे आर कॉन्ग्रेंट बिकॉज दे हैव सेम शेप एंड साइज सो इन द मिडल यू हैव अ रेक्टेंगल इन द फर्स्ट वे वी हैव डिवाइडेड इन टू टू कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्रिपीजियम हियर वी आर डिवाइडिंग इन टू टू थ्री सब पॉलीगनल शेप्स दैट इज टू कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्रैंगल्स एंड वन रेक्टेंगल सो थ्री पॉलीगन्स वन एज ट्रैंगल सेकेंड एज ट्रैंगल थर्ड वन एज रेक्टेंगल और ट्रैंगल प्लस रेक्टेंगल प्लस ट्रैंगल ट्रैंगल रेक्टेंगल ट्रैंगल नाउ डेटा लेट एस रेट द डेटा वॉट दे गिवन नाउ द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम क्यू टू एन इट इज लेवन सेंटीमीटर वॉट इज दट लेवन सेंटीमीटर Now you know that the measure of E side is equal. The measure of P Y is equal to five centimeter. Since the two triangles are congruent, the height may are equal. What is the height Q M and D N? Heights are equal. Therefore, you have to subtract five centimeter from eleven centimeter. What are you going to get? A six centimeter. Divide six centimeter by two. When we divide six centimeter by two, we'll get three centimeter. So you have to uh, say distribute equally to this uh, altitude and this altitude. When we distribute six centimeter by dividing by two, you'll get three centimeter height of the altitude M Q and three centimeter as the height of altitude D N, where M Q is the height of the the triangle above this rectangle. and dn is the altitude or height of the triangle below, below a rectangle how to know whether the given values are correct or not now look at the shape here from here to here it is 5 cm from here to here it is 5 cm from here to here it is 3 cm From this point to this point, it is three. Three plus five, eight. Eight plus three, eleven. Eight plus three, eleven. So this eleven centimeter is equal to eleven centimeter. I have written because the distance from point N to Q is eleven centimeter. See D N three, then D M is here five, then M Q three. Three plus five, eight. Eight plus three, eleven. So what we have written is here correct from O to that is from D to N three again from D to M five centi which is nothing but a line parallel to P O or distance then M Q is three a centimeter now R P is equal to M O is equal to eight centimeter R P is equal to M O it is equal to Eight centimeter. That M O is equal to eight. R P is equal to eight centimeter. Then Q N, Q N. The distance from this point to this point is eleven centimeter, which is nothing but three plus five plus three. So it is split into three five centimeter plus three centimeter plus three centimeter. Where three centimeters are the measures of the altitudes of the triangle above rectangle and triangle below rectangle, and five centimeter is the distance between the point M and D, which is nothing but the length of the uh, line segment P O or any line segment, because M D is parallel to P O. P O is the line segment of the given regular hexagon. Now, what we have to do to find the area of the given polygon, which is nothing but a hexagon, we have to add the area of the triangle RPQ, area of the rectangle RMOP, add the area of the triangle MON, then we get the area of the regular hexagon MNOPQR. Here, area of the given regular hexagon M N O P Q R is equal to area of triangle R P Q plus area of rectangle M O P R plus area of triangle 
m o n now you know the formula to find the area of triangle any triangle half into base into height plus area of rectangle is given by formula length into breadth plus area of triangle is given by half into b into h now let us focus on the area of the triangle rpq therefore area of uh, the given hexagon is equal to half the base base of the triangle rpq is rp you write here into what is the height mq you write plus what is the length of the uh, rectangle m o p r that is you can write m o what is the breadth o p then plus focus on the triangle m o n what is the base of the triangle m o of into m o what is the height of the triangle d n now we have to substitute the value for the given line segment now area of the given hexagon or polygon is equal to half into r p what is the value of r p from this to this point 8 cm into m q what is the value of m q that is height it is 3 cm plus m o what is the measure of m o it is 8 cm from here to here 8 a cm then what is the value of o p here 5 cm then half into what is the value of mo here again it is 8 cm here already i have written uh, dn the value of dn is again 3 cm now student we can uh, say cancel 2 in the denominator and 8 in the numerator by cancellation method to 1 times 2 to 4 times 8 so right centimeter as unit here also to 1 times 2 to 4 times 8 right centimeter now dear children in the diagram you should understand the numbers which are written in red ink they tell about the measure of the sides measure of the sides of the given regular hexagon regular hexagon don't get confused with the uh, any other line segment so 5 cm m n is equal to 5 n o is equal to 5 o p is equal to 5 q p is equal to 5 r q is equal to 5 r m is equal to 5 cm now 1 divided by 1 is 1 1 into 4 cm is 4 cm 4 cm into 3 cm is equal to 12 cm a square a uh, plus 8 cm into 5 cm 40 cm square and two here one in divided by 1 1 1 into 4 cm 4 cm 4 cm into 3 cm 12 cm a square therefore area of the given regular hexagon which is that m n o p q r is equal to 64 a centimeter you got the same answer but only thing here we are divided in different way how we are divided in such a way that we go got two congruent triangles and one rectangle in the previous the same hexagon in the first method we are divided into two congruent trapeziums what was the answer we have got 64 a cm a square here what is the answer we have got 64 cm a square no matter into how many uh, say sub polygonal regions into which you are going to divide the area remains the same but you should know the formula of the a given shape therefore while dividing the given polygon into the different parts or splitting the given polygon into any number of parts we should be quite sure of uh, knowing the formula of such a uh, shapes